This is Betting the Breeders' Cup presented by FanDuel. All looking to make some money over the two days for the World Championships held at Santa Anita for a record 11th time. Race number eight could give us an early look at our Kentucky Derby favorite. It's the FanDuel Juvenile presented by the TAA. The morning line odds locked for trainer Todd Pletcher, your 7-2 favorite. And Timberlake, 4-1 for trainer Brad Cox. You've got some heavy hitters in here in terms of trainers, and they have all done very well in this juvenile race before. So let's start with locked. Winner of the Breeders' Futurity last time out was locked in battle down to the wire. What do we make of him? Can he repeat like Forte did for Pletcher last year? Well, he can, and he's tough, just like Forte is. And he comes out of the same race, as you were saying, at Keeneland. And he was closely matched with the wine steward, strictly on form. But we need to look at the early part of this race. Look how much ground the wine steward, the inside, is saving, whilst on the outside, locked is five wide. He has covered so much more ground than the runner-up. He must be value for more than the winning margin. He's drawn a bit further toward the inside today, and I think he'll confirm the form quite comfortably with the runner-up on this occasion. But can Locke beat a really strong contingent, both from the West Coast, Bob Baffer with three in here, and also the East. Timberlake is likely to start amongst the market leaders for Brad Cox and Florent Giroux. But I think the horse that finished behind Timberlake last time, general partner, back on fast, Dirt rather than a sloppy surface might get closer to it. Look at you giving us an eight to one shot as we saw locked across the wire first by about half a length or so. I think we'll take a lot out of that breeder's futurity. I want to hear what our handicappers have to say. Edzo, Matt, I feel like this is a fairly wide open edition of the juvenile. What do you two make of it? Yeah, Britt, Edzo, we, we just saw that run from Locked. Right. The, the, I would say this horse is five lengths the best in that race, given how wide he was in relation to the wine steward. All due respect to Nick, I, I thought he was about eight wide, <laughs> really, on that first <laughs> turn. So uh, I, I, I would I would agree with you. And, and I believe this is one of those races here where you're going to need to step up in a very large way. And it is always about trip when it comes to the Breeders' Cup and large fields, young horses. You put it yeah. all in the blender. You just never know. And you look for horses that have had some grittiness and have had some moxie. Well, I guess Locke has certainly showed that so far. The scary thing is I think he's going to be even better as a three-year-old. So maybe he does win the Juvenile on Friday, but there's a part of me that thinks he's only going to get better and better. That is my horse, though. Okay. I'm on Muth. Muth is a horse that has done nothing wrong in three starts. He's got two wins and a runner-up finish. Most importantly, he won at a mile and a 16th here at Santa Anita in the American Pharaoh. And he did it in a different dimension. He sat and finished as opposed to going blasting right to the front. I think he's going to have to do the same thing in this race. What about Prince of Monaco? First time going around two turns. <sighs> I just I don't like the layoff. We okay. haven't seen him since Delmar back yeah. in September. They yeah. intentionally bypassed that American Pharaoh. To me, if he wins, he'll do it without me. Well, it is a home track, and it I is know. Bob Baffert, right? Okay, Brett. <laughs> well, get involved. A wide open edition of the Juvenile. Early look at the Kentucky Derby favorite. How do you get involved? Well, the FanDuel Sportsbook app, the only sportsbook app where you can bet the Breeders' Cup. And right now, new customers can get a no-sweat win bet up to $200. That means you'll get up to $200 back if the horse you pick to win doesn't win. So download the FanDuel app today and bet the Breeders' Cup.